Hi, this is my first tutorial and this is how to make a Doctor Strange style portal in Unreal Engine 5.1. So here we are in a fresh first person template from Unreal and all I've done is I've added two packs. I've added the City Park pack from the Marketplace and the uh, City of Brass environment pack as well, both of which will be linked below. So to begin with, we're going to open up the Palace from the City of Brass pack because this is going to be the location that's seen inside of the portal. So to make that, what we're going to do is we're going to capture a HDRI of this entire level. So what we need to do, we're going to go to the add to the project stuff, go to all classes and we want a scene capture cube. And as you see, this is, comes up as a camera. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says texture target click none and choose to create a cube texture target. So I'm just going to call this one location H E R I and hit save. So now if we go back to where we saved it, we can now see we have a HDRI. So we're going to up this as well to 1024, just so then we get some, a bit more uh, resolution. Don't need to do much more than that. Um, this is about all we need for an inside of a portal. And we're going to uh, change from texture group to leave existing maps as well, which I'll explain what it does later, but it helps to stop a blur effect when you're moving back and forth too much. So I'm going to save this. And what you'll see if I move this camera to where we want it. So for this, we want it probably around this point I reckon so what we'll see is if I now open up the HDR again it's moved to match exactly what that camera can see so then we're going to right click and create a static texture so this one is just a completely static this is a texture now that's it and again we're going to change mip maps to leave existing Hit save. Next up is going through and creating the actual material for inside of the portal and the actor. So we're going to create a actor. So we're just going to put this BP portal. I'm going to be adding in two components. We're going to add a static mesh. Um, it's up to you if you want to do a cylinder or a static mesh. It's better just to do static mesh because you can change it then. And just type in a cylinder. And we're going to rotate the cylinder 90 degrees and then scale it down to, I'd say, 0.05. Or maybe even less than that. So let's do 0.01 because I haven't seen this cause any texture issues really. So this we're going to rename as portal. And we're now going to also add while we're in here, a Niagara particle system. And this will be the portal. But we don't want to touch it because then we can scale it separately to make sure they match properly. So now, now that we've got this made, let's quickly go down here to our texture here. And we're just going to create a new material and we'll call it M underscore portal material. And we're going to add in our static texture. That did not add in. Let's try that again. We're going to plug this into our emissive. We're going to see an error come up. So we're going to first set this to unlit on our shading material. And what we need is we need to get a scalar of value of zero. And then what we need is we need a reflection vector. We're going to plug the zero to custom one normal and the reflection vector to our UV. So there we go. What we can see is we can now look around the environment that was there. Okay, so with this done, we're now going to go through and add this onto our portal. So go to our BP portal, find the static mesh, and we're going to add our portal 
material to it. And now if we go through and look, we can see you can now look around the environment using that part of the portal. And with that done, it's now time to move on and do the actual effect. So to do that, we're going to go down and we're going to create a Niagara system. We're going to do selected emitters and we choose empty. Finish. We call NS portal parts. Okay. So now that we got our empty, we're going to go through first and on the meta update, we're going to set a spawn rate. And I like to use 15,000 because it generates a nice amount of sparks for the overall effect. And then next up under particle spawn, or rather under initialized particle, we're going to change the lifetime mode to be random between 0.5 and 1.5 just to make sure it randomizes how long they're alive, each particle is alive for. And we're going to also then change the sprite size mode to random, non-uniform. We're going to do one and 10, and then one and 20. And what this means is we just get different length strands. Otherwise all the sparks are the same size and it just doesn't quite look as nice. With that now, we're going to go through and we're going to add a shape location. And this is going to be a torus. And we're going to set the handle radius as five to give us a much thinner circle. And we're going to change the rotation mode down here to be axis angle with X of one. And all that does is it rotates it upwards. So it's stood upright like it should be. Now, next up, what we're going to actually do is we're going to add on the particle update is a solve forces and velocity because what we're going to do is we're going to add this spinning effect and it won't show unless you do this first so back to particle spawn and we're going to add a vortex velocity we're going to hit fix and add vortex axis x to one And make sure, so if you get this issue again, make sure that your shape location is underneath the vortex velocity. And you can see we've now got the spinning effect, but they're not facing the right way. So to fix that, we're going to go through and find our sprite renderer and change alignment to be velocity aligned. So now you can see the spinning rapidly round in a circle. And make sure mine has this issue that Z is also set to zero. So then it's perfectly just in that area there. So now that that's done, we're going to go through and we're going to change the actual scale of the sparks themselves. So we're going to do a sprite scale, scale sprite size, and we're going to change these to be more of a starts of fat and gets thinner. So it's going to be key one and one, or rather key zero, number one. And the other one will be key one, number zero. So it's both of these, and we're just going to use auto. And it just makes some nice thinner sparks on the outside. And then let's add a bit of collision to it as well. This way, when it hits the floor, you get this weird effect here, but it's nothing to worry about. But when it hits the floor, it's now going to actually bounce rather than just go straight through the actual floor. And we're going to set the rest decision to 0.1. So they more lay across the floor than bounce. And we're going to do an average coefficient here. And then CPU friction blending, we're going to set this to average as well. I just find that this makes for a smoother effect all around. And save this for now, just so we don't lose anything. And then what we're going to go through and do is set up the colors. So at the moment, we've just got some white sparks. So 
to sort that we're going to go to our particle spawn we're going to go to our color mode random range and i'm going to set up two user parameters two user parameters i'm going to change them to be color one and color hit save so these are going to be set in the actual portal blueprint rather than in here and then let's just check everything as it should be we've got initialize anything like that i think the effect looks about right so now what we can do is go back to our portal choose portal effect and we're going to choose our portal box and you might just have to fix still the rotation things so here we go the cylinder needs to be rotated to match our sparks. And let's scale the portal up as well. So there we go. Now we have our portal with sparks. And what you can see is it's not quite showing what we want to do. Similar way to the reference image I'm using. So then comparing this to our reference image, which is this one, we can see that there's the staircase and stuff. So now I've rotated it round to match that same kind of angle. Yeah, if I click off this effect, we can see a nice white pattern. If I go to portal effect again, we now have two colors exposed. So if we choose a orange and set it to 50, or rather let's do 10 for the orange, I would then choose a red and set that to 50. Hit OK and click off. We now have our colors. Well, and hit save. And now I'm going to scale everything up by two. As I just found that that actually fits everything the most in terms of size wise to the portal in the reference image. So next thing is to put the portal actually in a level. So we're going to open up our city park level so that the area is all loaded we're going to find an area we want to place our portal i had already found one so i'm going to go over to it which is this place here and all we're going to do is we're going to drag in our portal bring it up off the ground what you can see is the particles are colliding with the floor drag it forward a bit so it's roughly where you want it to be uh, i think i'm going to place it over this way instead a bit more so you would actually be standing towards the globe and be looking out this way. Or even yet, you can go as far as to put it, say over here. Let's scale up to say by four, by four, by four. Okay, nice big portal. But just this bit here. But then particles aren't quite right, so actually no, we'll bring it back down to its two. Lower it down. So it starts to collide how you'd like it to on the ground. Let's grab our player start that's already here. There is not one here, never mind. Let's just create a player start quickly. Get them to face the portal. Uh, and let's check game mode to be first person game mode let's hit play you can now see we have our own doctor strange portal in this area that you can look around and see into another dimension i hope this tutorial was useful um give it a like and subscribe and i will make some more of these I'm currently working on some more stuff to do with these portals, so once I get that stuff worked out, I'll do some more tutorials for you all.